Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my videos where I talk about the world of data. Now in this video, I'm going to ask, answer a question that was asked to me on uh, the comments section, which was around, someone has said that they'd learned Power BI, um, and now they're thinking that they should have learned SQL first. So was it wrong for them to learn Power BI first before learning SQL? Now, there's actually nothing wrong with learning which order you learn the tools, okay? Because uh, to be honest, you know, uh, a lot of the time you need sort of tools in parallel in order to work, but there's nothing wrong with learning Power BI first. In fact, one of the uh, one of uh, the companies that I worked with, um, I you know recruited a junior analyst who she learned Power BI first before she learned SQL, and in fact before she even got proficient uh, with Excel. So what I would recommend is that it, if you have got a good understanding of Power BI, then now learn SQL because what happens is that the the structure of the data doesn't allow you to create the output that you want. So it's sometimes good that you run a SQL query that outputs the data in a structure that allows you to um, uh, you know, put it directly into Power BI that allows you to create the graph or output that you need. The other thing is, sometimes you need to create calculated metrics. Now, even though you can do that in Power BI, don't forget the processing will happen in Power BI. What you really want to do is create those calculations in a table, okay? So this is where SQL is quite good, that you can create those calculations Create the and then output the extract the output of the calculation and then get Power BI to read it. So therefore, Power BI itself is not doing the calculation and it doesn't slow down the dashboard. Okay, so there's absolutely nothing wrong. So if you wanted to learn Power BI first because you found that easier and you wanted a, a skill under your belt, then absolutely learn Power BI or even Tableau. Okay, and again, both of these tools can do a lot of uh, data manipulation and data calculation. Okay, so you can do a lot of work just by knowing those tools. But once you're quite comfortable with them, I would always recommend that you learn SQL. In order to understand how to query databases, you have to know SQL, okay? And the other thing is also learn Excel because sometimes you can manually do um, transformations and stuff in SQL, in Excel and gives you an idea of how you want the data to look. And then you can translate that into a SQL query, okay? So therefore you know what the data will look like when you run that query, okay? So SQL is still an essential tool, um, even if you know Power BI, okay? So, but the order you learn them is not so important okay the fact that you know both of them is what's important okay so thank you for watching the video i hope you um, found it useful please do subscribe to my channel and of course please do share and like the video thank you